Hey, it's Patrick Jane here. I'm a content creator on YouTube, focusing on B2B sales, helping companies and people generate more leads and close more deals. Now, if you run a team, especially if you are managing a lot of people, I'm gonna show you one of the most effective ways to make sure that everybody is on the same page using Atlassian's Trello. I've literally been using Trello for years and years for project management, online course creation, and even as a sales CRM. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I personally use my Trello board so that you can get some inspiration from it and use it for yourself. Now, before we go ahead and get started, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's dive in. Now, the first tip we have when it comes to using Trello is that you want to keep it simple. There's a ton of different project management software out there, and so many people have different ways of keeping track of what's going on in their business. The problem is that when you have all these to-do lists and tasks, and sometimes you get lost, and you're not even sure what's going on. This is why I personally opted to use Trello boards because it's extremely simple, it's visual, it looks great and it's very easy to teach the rest of my team on how to use the processes that I've created. Because when you have a big vision and you want to execute on big dreams, it's impossible to do it alone. Meaning that it's incredibly difficult to do difficult tasks by yourself. There's a saying that if you want to go fast, you want to do it by yourself. But if you want to go far and you want to be around for a long time, you got to do things together, which is a really good fit with Atlassian because they focus on creating the best tools to help teams collaborate and accomplish tasks that would be impossible to do by themselves. So let me give you an example of how I personally use Trello and how I use it with my team. And let's get into this example. So in the first example, I'm going to show you how I use Trello as almost like a CRM, a very simple way to do it. For me, you know, I do run an advisory slash consulting business where I help other people with their sales and marketing, helping them generate leads, close more deals and things like that. And for what I do, you know, I need an easy way for me to keep tracks of all the people that I want to reach out to, all the people that I'm currently in contact with and the people that I'm also in negotiations with. And so all I really have to do is keep a simple Trello board that I can update and also my team can update anytime there's new information that is going on within a sales cycle. So right into Trello board, and this is, you know, very B2B sales, right? We have the prospect list. This is going to be where I put in companies that I want to reach out to, but haven't quite yet. On the next column over here, we have reached out, meaning that I reached out to these people. And then from there, it's meeting scheduled. Once I have a meeting with them, you know, have a conversation and see if it's a good fit to work with each other. And if they move on to the next step, it's going to be negotiations. And then finally, once we negotiate, we close the deal, right? So if you think about it, there's only really, you know, one, two, three, four, five different columns in this basic CRM, but it's very powerful because I know anytime I see a company out there that I find on Twitter or something like that, I just add them to the list and I'm like, hey, I got to reach out to these sometime, right? And then when I reach out, I know who I reached out to when I have a meeting scheduled and so on and so forth, right? What I personally like about Trello is like they have very simple ways to um, implement these tags. So for me, I like to do outbound and inbound. So meaning if I do outbound, meaning I want to reach out to the person, I'll label it under a red outbound. But if the deal comes to me, sometimes people reach out to me via email or referral or something like that. I always have tabs on what's working, right? So if I find that a lot of people are reaching out to me, meaning I need to do more content marketing so I get more referrals and things like that. But if I find that, hey, you know, it really works when I reach out to people, then I'll know exactly what to do. What's also interesting is that I like to keep notes on my deals. So when I go into, let's say this one over here, this is just an example. I'll have like general notes here and then I'll have the classic Bant budget authority, need, and time. This, along with my team, can see everything that's going on. We have the budget of what this company is willing to spend, who the decision makers are, why they need this certain product, what pains do they have, and how do we solve it, and the timeline on when we expect the deal to close. And that's pretty much all the information you need with a basic CRM. And what's really interesting is like, you know, once, let's say like a meeting is scheduled, I can like drag and drop. It's literally as simple as that. And then all the data that you put into a box, it's going to stay within that box, whether you move it to any other column, which makes it very easy. So if you're starting out sales and you want to keep things very simple, this is, you know, in my opinion, a lot nicer than using like a basic Excel sheet or something like that, because you can drag and drop it in these cards and you can add data within these cards, right? Also, I have account managers as well who also help me keep track of these deals and they're able to update information, do some research on the company uh, and even handle some of the deals when it gets closer to the negotiations process where it's more administrative work. And so it's really easy for me and my team to keep track of everything that is going on. So now that we covered a b 2 B CRM example. I'm going to show you how I use Trello in other parts of my business because this whole concept of using boards and things like that and cards, it's really effective because it's so simple. So the other way I actually use Trello is I use it to help me keep track of my online course creation, right? So as a content creator in the B2B sales niche, I do sell online courses and these courses will have, you know, dozens and dozens of videos. So how do I keep track of the scripts that I write, what I filmed, what I've edited, what I've uploaded? I use Trello. So this is one of my courses that I created in the past and 
how it works is essentially when I create an online course, typically I'll think of it in sections, right? So it'd be section one, two, three, four. So it'd be like business development strategy, outbound lead generation, you know, sales skills, right? Different sections within my course. Now within each section, there's basically these lessons, right? You think of it like chapters in the book. So it'll be like prospecting with code emails, building your lead generation machine. So I could visually see what my course is going to look like step by step. And I can understand the flow of how a student will go through my course. And if I ever needed to like, you know, rearrange things around, it's very easy for me to do. And I could be like, oh, you know, actually maybe they need to learn this one first, or maybe this one comes after. I mean, that's very simple, right? So for example, typically when I plan out my course, I'm going to see the whole big picture, basically have a chapter for each of these sections. From there, I want to keep track of where I'm at in the process. I can go over here and edit labels and I could be like, okay, I already written this course saved. And I know that I have written it and it's in my note documents, right? Once I have written all the different courses, I'll go ahead and film it. So then every day I would film a couple videos, then I would go like filmed. Okay, great. And then once I film all the videos, I know I have to edit. So I have to go to edit labels then I have to go edit, right? And finally, once it's edited, the final version is done. I can go over here, edit and go to uploaded and then it is done. And I know that it's hundred percent complete. So essentially I go through this process and do all the videos, upload it and the job is done. So that's essentially how I created all of my courses that I've done over the years, literally using these Trello boards because it is the simplest way to do it, especially the drag and drop feature, the tagging. Not only do you know where you are in the process of creating creating the course, but then you can also drag and drop and rearrange everything if it doesn't, you know, to improve it over time, right? And of course, you know, you can click into any of these boxes, add little descriptions or any important details you want to add to that particular card. And you can also upload different attachments, whether it's a PDF or an image. And sometimes I do do that depending on the situation. And I you know, sometimes I might refer to a YouTube video or, or something like that. And I'll put the YouTube video link here so that I can reference it later when I actually do the writing or the filming. So now the next example we're going to go into of how I use Trello in my business is for project management. Now I do have a number of full-time employees. So how do I keep track of what everyone is doing so that we're all on the same page. So I'm going to give you an actual example of a while back. I created this course called sales legacy, right? It's an online course where I'm going to teach people B2B sales skills, help them get a tech sales job and things of that nature to do this course. It's not actually that easy because there's a whole process of how this works from the landing page, the course itself, all the software that has to link together, connecting it to my email autoresponder. And so there's so many steps and individual pieces that people don't see behind the scenes. All they do see is this nice landing page. So essentially, you know, this is the board that I use to actually create the website. As you can see, I basically separated each column into different aspects of the actual product. So for example, landing page, right? So this is what I'm referring to the sales legacy.com for the landing page. I got to use the create a landing page using a Webflow template, right? Which I did. So I have to integrate the video video to get them to register, you know, add social proof. So all these things, right? So like adding these videos, adding the social proof elements to this website, as you can see over here. So, you know, these are all things I just keep track of, right? When it's complete, I'll label it as complete, but if me or my team is stuck, I'll put stuck here. Or if my team is working on it, then I can clearly see like, hey, this person is stuck. I got to go in and help them get unstuck and make it complete. Right. And so basically everything will start blank. And then when people get the job done, they complete it. If they get stuck, then I could see it right away. So every day I would check to see if anyone is stuck. And so for this particular funnel, like when you click, let's say join now, for example, you know, there's a lot of different elements, right? Like integrating this first name, last name, email address, which also has to connect to an email autoresponder. And then if they do want to purchase the course, they have to go over here and then they have to enter the information, things like that. And I'm using another website in order to do the processing for this, right? So a lot of different individual pieces that all have to come together seamlessly. And I just have basically every page has its own different column with different tasks that need to be done just in order for the whole entire funnel to work. From those examples, you can see that I am a big advocate of Trello, mainly because it's so simple to use. When I show a new team member how to use the software, it literally just takes them five minutes to understand what's going on. You know, basically just using the tags, the cards and using the ability to write descriptions into each card. That's pretty much all you need and adding attachments, right? It's, it's that simple. You can use it whether you're doing a CRM, project management, online course creation. Literally, you can use it for anything because it's a blank canvas and your only limitation is going to be your imagination. So that's everything we got to cover for this video. If you enjoyed it and if you are excited to use Trello, make sure to give this video a like and leave a comment below on the number one thing that you learned in this video. So with that said, my name is Patrick Dang and I will see you in the next one.